In this Filmora 12 tutorial, we look at what's new in Filmora 12.2.1. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've already updated to the latest version of Filmora 12.2.1 at the time of recording this video, and here's what's new. The AI copywriting tool was availed in 12.1.8, but it has had a couple of improvements and it's right here and you can access it either from the home screen, you can click on it, type a question and it's going to give you back a response based on what you asked it. You have a limit of 20 questions per day and that is the first new thing although it was introduced in version 12.1.8 and then we can click on new project and the next area that you encounter it if you add something like a title uh, click on the title you encounter it right about here uh, you can use it to help you write a title and so on and so forth and then when you go to the export options, you can use it to help you like write a name and so on. And once you go to the export, uh, it's validating resources. Please wait for a moment. You get this as well. AI title and description for social media. So the AI copywriting tool is available from the home screen, the title section, when you're naming your video before export and after exporting to help you write descriptions and social media. So. That is the AI titles. Number two on the list is that now you, you have the ability to set a video thumbnail when you're exporting a video. So for example, if I add some stock media right about there and we assume I want to export this video, I can click on export and then from this section, you can change the thumbnail. So it's black, but if I click on change thumbnail, you have the option to either select from video Let's say you choose a screen frame right here. Let's say you want it to be like that, right about there, and then set it as thumbnail. Once I do that, that is going to be the video thumbnail. Alternatively, I can click on change thumbnail and then say from local and navigate to the folder where I want to actually set that particular thumbnail. Click on add picture. And let's say I want it to be something like this. So just choose something that's related to what you're working on. Maybe it's a, a thumbnail you created somewhere, maybe in Photoshop, Canva, etc. So there we go. And then set as thumbnail. And that is going to be the thumbnail for that particular video once you export it. So that's a highly welcome addition in Filmora 12. Next up, we have an update to the subtitle editor. So let me add a video that I already have subtitles for. It's right here. Let's drag and drop it right there. And if I play this video, with the recent, the subtitles will appear right about here. So to go into the advanced editor or the subtitle editor, you can just double click on it or right click on the subtitle and click on advanced edit. If I click on that, you will notice that the interface has changed. So the text options were on the left. I've always preferred them on the left, but they still work on the right. Uh, but they're on the right, the video on the left, so you can preview your subtitles and so on and so forth. But from here, we have new options like split and merge that you can easily just click on split and it splits the subtitle into whatever you want. Uh, you can also click on this particular merge when you hover over this section so that you can merge that blank line and that particular one up above. So that's highly welcome. And then uh, if we go to the presets, you can now add word art to this. So uh, normally we had just these presets, but if you click on this drop down, you have the word art and also custom presets. If I click on word art, you have a ton of more options to do with your subtitles. That is also highly welcome. We also now have animations uh, right about here. You can use different animations for the subtitles, which is highly, highly welcome. Next up, we've got the customized options. Now, Right about here, you have different things that you can do uh, to this particular subtitle. So you can come here and of more of importance right now is that you can now add backgrounds. If I click on that, you can now add backgrounds to your subtitles in Filmora 12. This is highly welcome. Uh, my only note is that I wish it was easily adaptable to the size of the text. So you don't need to have to keep adjusting the spread. It adapts to what is on that uh, particular screen or the text that is right about there. So if you move to the next one, uh, you'll need to actually apply to all, click apply to all. 
so that these changes are applied to the subtitles that are available right here. But I wish that the spread or the actually background was adaptive to this. So you can have a color feel or a gradient feel. This is highly welcome. Let's see what it looks like from this start. And this is highly welcome because you can style your subtitles the way you want them, especially if you want to add banding subtitles. So you can do the different changes that you want to your colors here. Uh, different options. It really depends on what you want to do. Change the opacity so that if you wanted to have uh, the background to be semi-transparent or even translucent or something, really depends on what you want it to be. So that's highly welcome. And for the subtitle, we have a change the uh, user experience. Uh, but in my own opinion, I've always felt writing text or subtitles on the left and previewing them on the right makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it still uh, works out, especially if you're importing subtitles to style them in uh, Filmora 12. So that's it for this. Uh, and then finally, let's say we save changes. Yes, we save those changes uh, that we just made right there. And that is what happens right about there. And then finally, uh, let's just remove this and we make uh, the final, uh, but this, it is not the exhaustive uh, final of this particular update. Uh, let's just say we add, um, okay. We can just cancel that actually. Uh, let's just zoom to fit and then let's add a bunch of titles right about here. Uh, some quick text and then uh, let's see uh, title it something let's say uh, let's say uh, a beach let's let's say we go to the beach and then uh, we call this one actually this seems like we have a mistake here should be a H at the end and then we can add something here let's say rocks just whatever let's assume it's a title that we have and then we can say something like waves so i've got three titles waves rocks and the beach so you can now batch edit or batch apply effects to this so just select your titles press on control and click and then from that you have a couple of options you can add so for example we can make this bigger Let's say we adjust it to about 62. We can use a preset uh, like that. Looks really, really good or something like that. Uh, make it bold and it's applying to all the three titles that we have on the timeline. That's really, really awesome. And as for titles as well, you can now add a background to titles. If I click on one title, scroll down, here's the background option. And you can now add a background with the same options like what we have in the subtitle editor. But that is what's new in Filmora 12.2.1. Not exhaustive. The others are just some minor changes here and there. But the AI copywriting tool is coming out really good. We also have the subtitle editor. We also have the ability to set a video thumbnail for your videos, either from the video or from a local update and also the batch editing for the titles. That's highly welcome as well. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.